Good morning, good morning, everyone. Thank you, thank you so much, Governor, for your warm remarks and for hiring me or offering me this opportunity. But thank you so much for your warm remarks. Um, and to all of you all, good morning, and thank you so much for being here. And I see so many faces that I've seen during my travels here. Thank you so much for having this confidence and faith in me. It's a tremendous honor to be nominated by the governor to lead Rhode Island's Health and Human Services agencies and to serve the citizens of Rhode Island. That is a huge honor. And like many social service professionals throughout the country, I've been impressed by the work being done in Rhode Island. I have been watching you all and just wondering, how are they doing this? You know, in terms of decreasing, you know, overdose deaths, in terms of access to health care, controlling costs of health care, systems transformation. Um, you all don't recognize, I don't believe, how much you have done and that you've done it from the heart and you've done it amazingly well and you know for a fact you're nowhere near done. You're not satisfied and that's big because some people say, oh, I accomplished that. So I'm done, but you all are so motivated to do more because you care. You care about one another and not just because you're in these system jobs, but because you are each other's neighbor and friend and loved one. Rhode Island is a model for the, this nation and it's fantastic. And I'm so happy to have these bragging rights uh, because it's amazing. And it shows others that I know who do this work it can happen and it helps them not lose faith because they have a peer saying look at Rhode Island look at what they've done don't give up you can do this um, it's the goal and the responsibility of the government to go beyond simply offering high quality social services um, it's um, I want to say it's one of the reasons I'm so thrilled to be here is the fact that we have a governor and many state and local officials as well as providers and advocates who have one single goal in mind to do better and that is amazing absolutely amazing we have to deliver programs and services that are respectful to our cultures who make up Rhode Island and the economic diversity so we can ensure that the most the most vulnerable individuals sometimes not seen by so many as they walk right by them, but they don't see them. But we have to do better to help everyone. Almost 30 years ago, as the governor sh shared, of course I was five when this <laughs> started. I was five, I was a well advanced five year old. I had good pre-K um, experience. <laughs> But about 30, good pre-K. If you do pre-K, you do a good, you can start your career at five, okay? I wanna say this. All right, so 30, a mere 30 years ago, I started my career in Chicago where I was born, I was raised, and I was educated. Um, I started my career in Chicago, and it was a vocation that came naturally to me because it was what I knew. It was with the family that I grew up in, the grandmother who had, I don't know, 20 plus grandkids at her house every weekend. Um, never seemed tired. <laughs> I don't know how, because I can't handle the three kids I have. <laughs> but, you know, growing up on the city south side, my grandmother had lots of people over all the time. She was cooking for them. She was taking people food. She was helping people find places to live, living in her house making sure they had clothes, but always ensuring that they never felt like they were, their dignity was being impacted. She did it in such a way that I just thought that's what, that's just the way that work, you know, you did stuff. You just help people. People came by because they liked her food. So for me, this career is not something I chose. It chose me, it's who I am, it's what I was raised to be. Um, her influences has definitely shaped me, and I always remember that, and my cousins, we always talk about it, because we can't lose focus of helping people, caring about people, loving people, is, is how you truly build community. Um, even as I took on greater responsibilities over my career, including the privilege of leading hundreds of social services professionals, I continue to find myself at the table listening to people. I love to listen, 
I ask lots of questions, and then I just keep listening. And people usually say, "Why wow, she doesn't? Why is she asking all these questions?" And it's because I know how much I learn from just listening. Um, and I want people to know that they can share their opinions, their frustrations. And in this career, I've shown them that I'm going to do something to help. Um, and that I recognize that it could be me, and if it was me, I would want somebody to help me. Whether it's Chicago or Ramsey County, Minnesota or Rhode Island, social services staff, providers, and advocates, advocates have to keep consumers' voices front and center. You have to truly, authentically do community engagement and recognize the, the, the impact and the role of health and racial disparities and inequities. Those words, disparities, inequities, listen, we have to do that and we need to do it. But I promise you, if I'm confirmed, if I'm confirmed, I will immerse myself in all the facets of the State Comprehensive Health and Human Services Network and build relationships with our stakeholders across this state and more importantly, our residents, our community members. I will leverage the expertise of our leadership team and it is a fantastic leadership team um, and our agencies and keep the focus on making improvements to our internal programs and finance operations as well as remaining transparent and open to community dialogue. Most important, I will foster strong relationships across the agencies with our frontline staff and our community and providers as we work side by side with our residents. Our ability to meet citizen needs lies squarely on us. And it's my job to make sure that everyone has the support they need to be able to do that. And in this field, we strive for the same goal. If at the end of the day we provide a safe place for people to sleep, ensure that they have food to eat, that they can have, uh, make it to doctor's visits, have doctors to be able to see, um, get jobs that truly pay a livable wage, not just a job, but a job that pays a livable wage and hopefully one that they really enjoy and love. Um, if we're doing that, I know that my grandmother is proud of me. And that is very important to me. So Rhode Islanders deserve no less from this state and everyone's improved health and quality of life will make our community a better place. And I'm really excited about living in Rhode Island. It has beaches and oceans and all, you know, I'm excited. Um, so I wanna thank you so much for giving me this opportunity. I wanna thank our governor again for believing in me and giving me this opportunity. And again, I wanna just give you all my word that I'm here to help and I'll do everything I possibly can to do that.